it's almost the same as Round Island. So we just whack only. <laughs> Hey Eileen, hi, thanks for joining us. Could you tell us more about yourself and uh, how you got into cycling? Oh, I got into cycling due to COVID. <laughs> Everything is like lockdown, so cycling. My friends say go into cycling, so I just try out. For the first cycling event I joined is the To Go Pass, the National Day. That's where I start my cycling journey. It's really exciting that you have an Instagram channel that uh, really covers a lot of cycling activity and uh, what made you want to start this channel? Mm, I like to share with friends, lor. like go to places that I never go to before. Like because some places, uh, cars and motorbikes you cannot go in. So only by cycling or by walking. And I don't really like to walk so long distance. So I prefer <laughs> cycling. <laughs> Why do you start the Instagram account for example? Uh, Instagram account I started uh, quite long, some time back. Yeah, but uh, after that I find eh. Why not I share my cycling things on Instagram as well and there's more uh, viewers also down there. So do you prefer uh, day cycling or night cycling? Night cycling is cooling la, of course, but day cycling have more things to see so it's different. Sometimes I'll go for day, sometimes I'll go for night. Depends on the weather. If not too hot, then I'll go for the day. So you've been cycling for about two years. Uh, close to. <laughs> close to. Then uh, how many bikes do you own? Currently... Five. Oh wow, that's quite a lot. Uh, what are the five bikes that you own? Uh, two mountain, two road bike, uh, one four D. That's quite interesting actually. So which is your favorite bicycle among the five? Uh, of course it's the road bike lah. Can lesser effort, longer distance, and then compared to the mountain bike, all this with suspension, and four D wise because it's smaller wheel, so you need more effort, longer distance. So, prefer road bike. So, that, that means you, you cycle for relatively long distance. Yeah. Uh, what, what is your average distance when you go out and cycle? Average minimum 30 to 40. 30 to 40 kilometers, yeah. right? And what are your favourite cycling routes? Uh, east side. Because <laughs> east side PCN and the road is more well done than the west side. Lah. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, do you have any cycling routes you, you recommend to, to people? Uh, can try Pongo Passeries. I usually go by Pongo Passeries, then Loyang, TMCR, then ECP. Ah, okay. Yeah. So, uh, ECP, but we can't cycle on the expressway, right? No, we can't. We, we'll go by the inside the PCN. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, yeah. I, I, I think you're right. Uh. The west side doesn't really have yeah, such a Yeah, and a lot of pothole. <laughs> Yes, yes. On the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think the only PCN I know in uh, the west side is the one that connects uh, around River Valley to Bukit Timah side, right? Yeah, correct. That's the only PCN I know that goes, up, I think, up to Clementi and then that's it. <laughs> if not, it's the railway corridor. Oh, okay. Yeah. Have you cycled at the railway corridor also? Yes, but the one more for mountain bike. La. <laughs> okay. The road-wise, the condition of the road. Uh, more for mountain bike, I would say. Oh, so that's more uh, like off-road cycling. Yeah, along gravel the kind. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, they are going to redo the the uh, Tanjong Paga area, right? Yeah, correct. Is that something very exciting to you as a cyclist? Yeah, if they can do it more for like slicker wheel, <laughs> like road bike, all this, that would be definitely better for us. Lah. Okay. So they are going to do the Tanj uh, redo the Tanjong Paga area to make it more lifestyle. Is that exciting for you as a cyclist? Yeah, of course. Because uh, if uh, for peak hours we go on road, it will be like, a lot of cars will, like don't like us as a cyclist. Lah. So I prefer if they can do the road better, then we also can be more safer lah, for user all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true, that's true. So how long do you usually spend uh, in one session of cycling for 30 to 40 kilometers? Uh, two hours, mm. including rest time. Okay. Yeah, we try to minimize the rest time. Mm. So everyone can go back early also. Do you all prefer to cycle in the mornings or the evenings? Uh, most of us right now, because COVID uh, opened up already, so we have to work. So usually it's at night. Okay. We'll go for night cycling. Yeah, actually, uh, when you go cycling to like across the, 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 the route of 30 to 40 kilometers, uh, what do you enjoy about the experience? Is it the endurance or is it the things you see? Is it the company? Uh, mm -hmm. What is it you enjoy? Company is the main and second is when you sweat out, when you just cycle, follow company, 
you don't have to think so much on your daily stress or this. So it's a form of release stress. Ah, okay, okay. Oh yeah, that's actually quite quite a yeah. good reason. And also to burn fats lah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so do you have any tips for new cyclists or someone who is interested to uh, pick up cycling? Uh, where should they start and what bike do you suggest that they pick? Uh, maybe it's for starting, la. you can go for a 4D first and on PCN first will be safer. Because when you are a newbie, more or less the road rules or sign that you don't know, you go on road will be very dangerous. Mm. Yeah. And uh, you recommend a foldy, but the foldy requires more more energy, right? Yeah. Why do you recommend a foldy? That's where you train up your leg power first. <laughs> <laughs> and and can for be... on pavement wise, you can go slow to train up your leg power first. Yeah, then after that you follow up, you can go for like mountain bike or road bike, bigger wheel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When should someone transit to a mountain bike? Like, you know, because mountain bike often you go off terrain, right? Yeah. So, uh, when Not is really that? Like, My mountain bike I usually also use on pavement for normal. Oh, okay, <laughs> Sometimes okay. because uh, there's too many people, then you go a little bit off road on the glass, then go back onto the pavement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the mountain bike is useful in these style situations yeah. where the pavement is very narrow. Correct. Right. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Mountain bike will be useful for uh, places like Coney Island yes, and all correct. for off road. Got monkeys or to see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but it's it's quite a distance to go there, right? Mm, because I stay in Pongo, so it's very near for me. All right, all right. No, no, but it takes a while to to travel there, right? Uh, no, from my house to there, Coney Island is only like ten minutes. Oh, that's cool. Ten to fifteen minutes depends on the speed that you ride. Now I'll move to maintaining your bike. Mm. So, uh, how do you usually maintain your five bicycles? Uh, for my five bicycle, I used to. After every ride, I will wipe down. Okay. So once a week, or if I see it's like dirty, I will decrease it and uh, loop it. Lah. Do you uh, often maintain your bicycle uh, at shops or do you usually do it at home? Uh, for all the big bike, I do it at home. Okay. But some mechanical things, I don't know, then I will bring to the bike, lah, bike shop. Yeah. Okay. So, but for my foldy, because it's an uh, internal hub, which I haven't learned how to clean it, so I will usually bring back to Bespoke. Have you had a breakdown before while you were cycling? And and, and what was it like? Yes, I do. Uh, during my round island trip, almost finishing at uh, ECP. Oh dear. My tube burst. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and it went flat. <laughs> okay. And I do not have any tools with me, but luckily there's very friendly cyclists. They help me out by patching it back. Oh. Yeah. And then right. pump it up. But it was very hard for me to ride TMCR because that's the last part of my journey for the RTI. I, using 30 to 50 PSI oh. to go. Uh, it took quite some time uh, for me to finish. Usually we finish about 20 plus minutes to 30 minutes TMCR. But that day I took about an hour plus. Yeah, can you tell us about one exciting uh, cycling story and experience? Mm. I will say it's my first RTI when I start cycling after like few months into it. So my friend was saying, everyone is going to the Tuas Lampos one. Why not we just go there? So I was like, okay, let's go. <laughs> then with my mountain bike that time. Yeah, so we went all the way there. And then after that, my friend was like, okay, let's go back. Same route, same route. Then I was like, uh, why not we just do a round island then? My friend quite steady also. La. He, so he just say, okay, why not? Because the distance, if we are going back, is almost the same as Round Island. So we just whack only. Okay. And we, did, I, we, did, we are not mentally prepared for it or physically prepared for it also. But we go slow. We wait for each other, go slow. And we took about like total hours, include rest time, 16 hours. Oh, <laughs> for wow. my first RTI. Oh. <laughs> and how long was that? For the RTI? Uh, 160 kilometer. Alright. Yeah. Oh, actually that's not bad. Uh. <laughs> I mean, considering <laughs> resting everything. Yeah, but now to think back, if I'm using road bike now, I can complete it like half of it. <laughs> yeah, mm. so it's faster. 